In this video, I'll be showing you how to process and manipulate strings of text by using regular expressions in TextBlaze. Regular expressions, or regex in short, are sequences of special characters that define a search pattern. Before we get into more detail, let's look at how regex can be useful. Somewhere inside this text, there's a phone number that I want to find. If I know the phone number, I can just use the Find feature to dig it up. But this won't work if I don't know the exact number. Instead, I would have to manually look through the document to find something that matches the pattern of a phone number. Thankfully, Regex makes this easy by allowing me to run a search for a pattern match. I know that a typical phone number looks something like this. So I'm going to design a regular expression that matches three digits, followed by a dash, and four more digits. To do this, I need to tell regex to look for digits by using backslash D. The backslash tells regex that the letter D following it is special and that it represents any digit from 0 to 9. Here's what the complete pattern looks like. We've got a backslash D for every digit in the first set, then a dash, and then another set of four backslash Ds to match the final four digits. Now we have a regex pattern that will match any phone number in this format. Let's test it on the website regex101. Here's a text containing a phone number, and here's my regex pattern. Notice how the number is highlighted to show a match, and if I change the phone number, I still get a match. In regex, different characters have different meanings, and we use these characters to define any pattern we want to match. Here are the main ones. You can find a comprehensive list in our tutorial page, linked in the video description. These characters can be combined too. For instance, if I add the plus quantifier after backslash w, it means that I want to match the first word character found and every subsequent word character until they run out. Now let's see how we can use regex in TextBlaze. Let's start with test regex. This function is used to test whether a specified string exists within a piece of content. Here's a simple example where I'm testing to see whether a phone number exists within a sentence. Once again, I'll be using the regex sequence we built earlier. When I insert the snippet, I get yes. If the text hadn't contained a phone number in the specified pattern, TextBlaze would have given me a no. Let's take it a step further. Here I have a form paragraph field named text and a form text field named query. Now I can use these variable names inside my test regex function to test whether the contents of query exist within the contents of text. Note how the result is yes as long as the contents of my string match part of the contents of my text. As soon as they stop matching, I get a no. Test regex is case sensitive, but I can change this by adding something called a flag. In this case, the I in quotes tells TextBlaze to disregard capitalization. In this example, I need a regex sequence to check for a zip code that follows this pattern. Let's build it together. We need two backslash Ws to match the first two word characters a backslash s to match the space, five backslash d's to match the first five digits of the zip code, the dash character, and another four backslash d's to match the last four digits of the zip code. 
Notice how changing the letters or numbers still gives me a match. But if I remove any of them, or try to change the dashes in any way, I will not get a match. Now that you have a basic understanding of how regex can be used to match strings, let's look at extract regex, which allows you to extract a specified string from a piece of content. Once again, I have a basic snippet with a paragraph field and a text field. But this time, I'm using them with an extract regex function. From this bit of text, I want to extract the email address. And once again, I can do this by using a regex pattern. Let's build it together. The first requirement is the at sign, because you can't have an email address without it. Next, I need to match the text before the at sign. You already know that backslash w matches alphanumeric characters. But this time, we don't know exactly how many characters we need to match. So let's add the plus quantifier to keep capturing word characters until they run out. This gives us the first part of the email address. Let's repeat the backslash w plus after our at sign. You'll see that the regex stopped matching at the last character before the period. So let's add a period to match that. In regex, a period on its own means match any single character. To specify that we just want the period, we need to put a backslash before it. Finally, we add another backslash w plus to match the domain extension. There are also ways to match different domain extensions like .co.uk, but you can read more about that in our tutorial page. Let's have a look at one more function, replace regex. This function allows you to match a string and replace it with something else. Once again, I'm using forms to insert the desired content into my replace regex function. I want to hide the email address in this text, I can use the same pattern we used in our earlier example to match any email address and then replace it with something else. Regex is an incredibly powerful tool and we've only just scratched the surface. In the description, you'll find some helpful resources for learning more about Regex and testing out various combinations. And of course, make sure you join our community. We're always happy to help and share ideas.